Now I just ordered a building online off from a website and they claim that they're going to come out to my site, deliver the building, fabricate it right there, install it and paint it in one day. The only thing that I have to do is get the ground prepped and ready within a tolerance of plus or minus six inches. Let's see how this goes. Now I'm gonna jump in here because I didn't just go and buy any old shed that I could find off from a lot somewhere. Now this one came from Heartland Sheds and this is the studio office shed. The one I got has a set of 72 inch French doors that open wide open, which allows me to convert this shed into a whole lot more than just a shed. The sidewalls are two by four construction and the roof system is two by six and it has a galvanized steel roof. Now the outside of the shed is wrapped in Smart Side by LP or Louisiana Pacific, and that is backed by an industry leading warranty. These guys from LP have a five year labor and material coverage warranty, but they give a 50 year material guarantee. Here's where things get really good. It uses a heavy duty treated floor, and this is built way beyond industry standards. And that's the key element that I was looking for because if the government ever decides to step in and tell me that, whoa, 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 I'm not allowed to have this permanent structure on my land that I pay taxes for, what I can do then is I can raise that building up, slap a set of skids underneath it, and now I can call it an ice fishing house. Now these guys from Heartland Sheds, not only do they just come out and drop it off, but they assemble it and paint it right there on your own job site all in one day. Let's just see how this goes. Now before they come out, my job is to set the building pad and I've got to get it plus or minus six inches. So the area that I want to set this building pad up has a couple dead trees. First thing we're gonna do is knock those over, then we're gonna level that pad out so when the guys from Heartland come in, all they gotta do is what they do best, build a building. And I wanna see how well that goes for them without any extra complications. So I'm trying to get this building pad dialed right straight in. We're just going to use it as a relative point. Okay. So put the laser up. We're just going to say this is our generalized point right here. We don't even need a number right there. Now this is our, our point. So put your finger on the stick right where that is beeping. That's our point. So now from that point, if we go up or down, we know where we're at. So let's walk over. Okay. Turn that's on there. Yeah. I didn't move it. Okay. And let's come this way. Let's, yeah, we gotta just test a couple spots out here. Okay, so you had to come up a half an inch. Yeah. So, oh, you're gonna, how, is it 10 wide by 12 long? We're just gonna make a 15 by 15 okay. pad. Okay. So. All right, guys, the shed is here. Let's go unload it. That 
That's Chuck. He's been building sheds for Heartland for over 16 years. He also builds homes sometimes when he's not busy building sheds. Now, just to be clear and fair, I said someone else is going to be building this building for us, and I do not even have to do the unloading. But I figure if I can make a guy's life easier by heffing materials up a hill, up a driveway without forcing them to do all of the carrying, absolutely I'm going to do that. to see what turnkey service looked like. These guys are going to assemble this, put it all together, paint it, accomplish it in one day. What does that actually look like? You are probably capable of building a shed on your own land. I'm capable of building this on my own land, but sometimes our lives get busy and what does it look like to have somebody else do the work for you? Will they fulfill all of the promises that they claim on their website? Let's find out together and see how this goes. Now, whatever shed you get from wherever company you're looking at, make sure that that floor system is heavy duty supported and reinforced. This one has four main runners underneath it. A lot of times sheds will compromise on the floor system and give you three runners or even less, depending on the size of the shed. Now another thing I was looking for is the 2x4 construction. Are they using that throughout the entire shed? Because a lot of times a shed will claim one thing, but then in other areas where you're not looking, they'll compromise on materials and use lesser material, or they'll space it out, or they'll compromise on how the, the shed itself was built. Not only was this everything 2x4 construction, the roof system was 2x6 construction with galvanized steel roofing on top of it. Hey Chuck, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Sure, go ahead. So if this pad wasn't perfectly level, you had those blocks on the back of your truck on the bed, then do you guys do the final leveling before you lay it out or how's that work? Yeah, I would use the blocks to, you know, fill the gap between, you know, you were pretty spot on with this so we didn't need them, but if it's on a hill, it would just raise them up. Yeah, but you know, you're not coming out here with equipment or machinery. You're just trying to get this. So it's, it's kind of like the homeowner's responsibility to get it pretty darn close, right? Right, yeah, they say the homeowner has to do it within six inches of level. Yeah, but isn't that kind of a nightmare sometimes, it is. I would a, think? It's a lot of work, you know. Um, 
you know, if you don't have equipment, you know, on your big hill, you know, it could be a lot of work to get fill in or whatever. Um, and you need power within 150 feet, or you got to know ahead of time so you can bring generators out. Right, correct. Okay. And then I noticed you assembled everything on the on the ground, and then you just stand it straight upright. Right, yeah. It's uh, easier to do it on the ground than in the air on the ladder. And then they're using Geldwin for the windows and doors. That's yeah. actually a well-known name. That's not some kind of a knockoff, cheap, that you'd never heard of kind of a name. Right, yeah, they're good windows and doors in this. Hmm, huh. okay. And if I was doing the tail of the tape, 1141. You guys have already got this far in, what, three and a half hours, three hours and 41 minutes. Yeah, it goes together pretty quick, you know, as this part, you know, it slows down a little bit with all the trim pieces and everything and, you know, painting, but. Oh, you guys paint it? Yeah. Well, it's an option, you know, you pay for it, you know, us to paint it or whatever, and that is an option. So they come pre, so. Th come pre-primed. They come pre-primed, so this is the primer coat. Yes. Okay. And then you guys wrap it up and finish it and put a, pr a pretty pink bow on it for people. Right, yeah, it's all, all ready for you to move your stuff in that way. Wow. Subfloor, so this is. It's a premium pro strut subfloor. You know, it's our premium flooring. Uh, holds up really well versus just regular OSB. Oh. So this is not an OSB floor, floor. Right, it's called Pro Strut. Okay. Yeah, it kind of looks like OSB from underneath, but it is a much superior product. All right, all I gotta do then is insulate it and I'll have a, a she shed. Right, But or I'll call a it shed. A, a he shed. Right. Yep. <laughs> a man cave. Man, there you go. Thanks, Chuck, appreciate it. All right, guys, I've been talking to Chuck off camera and I found out you've been working for these guys for 16 years. Yeah, about 16 years. Yeah, and so this is a 12 by 10. Correct. This feels absolutely freaking massive, but that roof makes a difference. But this isn't the biggest package that these guys make, is it? No, we make all kinds of different sizes. Um, 16 wide up to, you know, about 30 feet long. So 16 is the widest that this company will go? Correct. Okay. Yeah. But then from there, a guy can pick out a package that fits their needs. They're not stuck with a one-size-fits-all type of a thing? Right, to any length they want. Okay, nice. So we are looking at, time-wise, we are, it's uh, 224. So you guys are coming along pretty dang good. Yeah. So we'll take a uh, look. So they've got the trim on, rounder, and uh, they're just getting their prep. The roof is on. And this is a metal roof? It is a metal roof. Different sheds, they're just standard that way. They're either shingled, they come shingled, or they come as a different model with a metal roof. I would always go metal if I had a, per, a preference myself. Yeah, it's always better. You know, that is an upgrade, you know, a higher quality or whatever, but... Uh, and I bet that makes your build go faster, too. It does. Metal, metal roof does go a little bit quicker. Boom, 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 boom. Onward and upward. All right. And these windows that we have in here, these are stock. So, we got two nice little windows on the side, big fat patio door in, and then all these upper interior windows to let in the light. But I'll let you keep working and I'll stop slowing you down, Chuck. Sounds good. He's still got to drive back to Chicago. Illinois, right? Yes. Yeah. And we're in northern Minnesota. I did offer him a place to stay. So I'm being critical. I'm looking for the areas where this company is cheapening out. From the windows to the wood, I haven't found anything. So now I'm gonna look at the paint next to see are they using some off-brand paint that nobody's ever heard of. So you use an exterior acrylic 
latex on that, huh? Yes. And they did do two coats on both the main part of the building and the trim. You know, when a contractor hires another contractor, they tend to be a little bit more critical than normal. And sometimes it seems too good to be true. So that's why I was being so cautious. Are these guys going to deliver? And they did. So I'm gonna jump in here and say this. This is the easiest build I've ever done. I had to do nothing. Normally I get in here and I, you know, I've been building my entire life and I see, you know, I, I, with these, you know, builders and they get in and I see them struggling and they, I can tell they need a hand here. They need a hand. No, you guys were just, you weren't even like stressed. You were just like another day at the office. Yep. Yeah, that's what it is for me. Just, you know, another, another shed, you know, one board at a time and it gets done. Yeah, boy. And it looks so sharp. I mean, just the, I mean, what the paint brings it all together, but you know, it's just the little things I, I look at, you know, like the quality of the windows and the doors and then the, the pergola that goes over the top of it just dresses up the entire, it just dresses it up. And what a great experience. I mean, it was from the time I ordered to the time you guys showed up. I mean, is that normal what you guys do? Because you called ahead of time to let me know exactly when you're going to be here i had multiple phone calls the information was spot on i mean the communication was just clear crystal clear is that normal the way you guys operate or yeah i always call you know the night before and you know let you know when i'm here you know going to be here in the morning yeah so you know on my end because yesterday about noon i was like oh i hope we're still on i was watching the weather a little rainy but nope both of you guys called and confirmed just great and I mean, I had to just kick back and watch it all come to life, which is cool. I, I even had Frankie on standby and he's across the lake. He didn't come by one time. You didn't, you guys didn't even see, meet Frankie, did you? No. Nope. Didn't even meet my right hand man and him and I build everything together, including this entire property, that house down there, the two houses over there, the docks there, you name it, Frankie and I build it together, but let's just take a, a walk around and look at it. It's been a great experience. So if you guys do end up ordering from this company, I think if it's anything, the experience is anything like I had, well, then you don't have a whole lot of work to do. But that's gonna call it for this video. These boys got a long journey home. They still are going to drive back to the cities and then off to Illinois for them from northern Minnesota. So I want to say thank you to, for you guys to come out. And thank you to you guys for going along for the ride and watching us uh, get this put all together. God bless and go get them, you guys. We'll catch you on another one.